So we are going to start our new book of the week and that is Superworm. Now this book is by a familiar author and illustrator. Now quick quiz, can you tell your adult what an author is and what an illustrator is? Hmm. So an author is the one who writes the book and an illustrator is the one who does the pictures for it. So our author is Julia Donaldson and our illustrator is Axel Scheffler. I'm never quite sure if I'm saying that right, it's a bit of a tricky one to pronounce. Anyway, they have written lots of books that we have read in class and probably some that you have read at home as well. Books like The Gruffalo and The Stick Man. Um, can you name any others? You could tell me the others, I can't remember any off the top of my head right now, but we've done lots of other ones. Okay, right, so Superworm, and we are of course doing this one because it is about worm and our topic is mini beef. So superworm and here is superworm and if I hold it up for you which other mini bees can you spot on the front cover? There are lots and lots of mini bees here. Oh, lots of them and they all look pretty friendly as well. So let's open up. Superworm is super long. Superworm is super strong. Watch him wiggle, see him squirm. Hip, hip, hooray for Superworm. Look at him, he's so strong, he's holding that rock. Wow, and one of his little friends is on top there. Ah, oh no, what's happening over here? Help, disaster, baby toad has hopped onto a major road. Should you ever hop onto a major road? Quick, whatever can we do? Oh no, oh no, what shall they do? Whoop, look at that! Oh my goodness, what has Superworm done? <gasps> look, a Superworm lasso! He has lassoed him. Whoop, he's gonna save him. <gasps> very, very helpful, Superworm, and amazing. The bees are feeling bored today. They need a nice new game to play. Cheer up bees, no need to mope. That means like, oh, kind of hanging around, being like down in the dumps, meh, not being happy. Like they are in these pictures, see? Sad bees. It's Superworm, the skipping rope. That, what fun that would be. Have a friend who could become a skipping rope. Beetles fallen in the well. Is she drowning? Who can tell? So wells are places where people used to have to go all the time to go and get water. So they will go deep, 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 deep down into the ground where there will be sources of water, places like places where you can get water, where the water comes from, like underground streams and rivers. And people would have to lower a bucket down and scoop the water and then bring it back up and you'd use like the bucket on a string and you'd have to keep winding it and winding it down and winding it and winding it up. Lots of effort. We're so lucky to be able to get water out of the tap. Anyway, Beetle has fallen down. <gasps> Poor Beetle does not want to be in the water. Not good. <gasps> not to panic. All is fine. Doesn't look too fine to me. I would not want to be that Beetle. Yikes. It's Superworm the fishing line. <gasps> Superworm to the rescue again. <gasps> then toads and beetles, bees and bugs, brother snails and sister slugs, uncle ant and earwig aunt, clap and cheer and chant this chant. Superworm is super long, superworm is super strong. Watch him wiggle, see him squirm. Hip hip hooray for superworm. Should we do that again? Super worm is super long. Super worm is super strong. Watch him wiggle, see him squirm. Hip hip hooray for super worm. <sighs> he is a pretty super, isn't he? And look at him looking all happy there. So cute. The chant is carried in the air <gasps> to wizard lizard in his lair. That's like a place that you live but like usually for slightly creepy scary people he mutters in his servant's ear find that worm and bring him here oh dear that's his servant mm. the servant crow the 
bird, we know that one. The servant crow is black and grim. Everyone is scared of him. They all let out a fearful shriek to see their hero in his beak. <gasps> oh, yikes. This does not look good for Superworm. Ooh, look. Have a look at that picture. There's Wizard Lizard, there's the crow, and there is poor Superworm. He is not looking too good there. The wizard waves his magic flower. Now, Superworm, you're in my power, and you must tunnel, writhe, and coil to find me treasure in the soil. Superworm is very cross to have a lizard as his boss, but when he tries to slink away, the wizard's magic makes him stay. That is just not on, is it? Outrageous. You can't just control people like that. Or worms. For days he tunnels, twists and winds, but all the treasure that he finds is two small buttons, half a cork, a toffee and a plastic fork. That's not very good treasure, is it? The lizard flicks an angry tail. Have one last try and if you fail to find that treasure down below, I'll feed you to my hungry crow. We know the birds like to eat worms, don't we? Oh dear. So look, let's have a good look at that picture. Look at him tunnelling away, working away in the soil and not finding any treasure. Just kind of a lot of rubbish, really. Which also shouldn't be there. The crow is flapping <gasps> through the night. Everyone looks up in fright. They see him perch upon an oak. An oak is a kind of tree. <gasps> and listen to his dreadful croak. Superworm is good to eat. Superworm's a special treat. He'll be juicy, fat and firm. Hip, hip, hooray for Superworm. Oh, that's not such a good chant, is it? Oh, dear. Action! Quickly! On the double! Superworm's in frightful trouble. We must help him if we can. We must hatch a cunning plan. A cunning plan. It's like a really clever, well-thought-out plan. So there they are. They're all getting together to hatch this plan, to come up with this plan. Oh, there they all are. So, the garden creatures leave their home carrying a honeycomb. What what they're going to do with that? They jump and fly and crawl and creep. Let's have a good look at that picture there. Look at that. So many, many beasts. And find the lizard fast asleep. Ooh. They chew the petals off his flower. Oh, there. To rob him of his magic power. The caterpillars fetch some leaves. Look at that. While busily the spider weaves. Weaving a web. Clearly got a good plan here. The web is strong. The web is tough. The web is plenty big enough. Oh, look what they've done. Oh, they caught him. The wizard wakes. This isn't funny. I'm wrapped in leaves and stuck. With honey. Oh, he's all sticky, sticky, sticky. Then up the bees and beetles fly and lift the web into the sky. Look at the lizard. He's going high into the sky, all sticky and caught up in the web. This is the place. And bam! Crash! Thump! The wizard's in the rubbish dump. Not a nice place to be. And now, from somewhere underground, there comes a distant rumbling sound. The earth begins to heave, and then... <gasps> Superworm is back again! Yay! He's back! And all his friends are so happy. Superworm, the swing, the slide, the hula hoop. The fairground ride. Superworm the belt. The hat. <laughs> the crane. The train. Choo -choo. The acrobat. <gasps> wow. Then toads. And 
beetles, bees and bugs, brother snails and sister slugs, uncle ant and earwig aunt, clap and cheer and chant this chant. Super worm is super long, super worm is super strong. Watch him wiggle, see him squirm, hip hip hooray for super worm. <gasps> Look at them all happy. Should we do that chant one more time? Super worm is super long, super worm is super strong. Watch him wiggle, see him squirm, hip hip hooray for super worm. <gasps> what a great story. And that is the end. Bye for now.